Hey Scorpio, what's up? Welcome back to the Alice Illuminator for your He Said, She Said game. Let's see what is going on in the love department. So the Divine Feminine will be on top and the Divine Masculine Energies will be at the bottom. So you can always choose which one belongs to you. Let's start with the situation for you, Scorpio. What has been going on from the past? in your love life or relationship department what are the messages for you Ooh, starting off with the seven of swords some type of trickery or deceit um, in love obviously the lover's card where is this going the seven of wands reversed The Nine of Swords and the Queen of Wands reverse. So I see that you are you have been connecting to someone that was definitely on a very deep soul level. However, there is some type of false trickery here that I feel like you've been sensing. And I feel like because of that, you are now trying to um you know, see things from a different perspective. I feel like you're changing the way that you're looking at this individual right now. I feel a feel or a sense that this person may have tried to bring you down with this Queen of Wands or trying to uh, maybe insult you because I feel like there is some type of embarrassment here or stress in regards to your self-confidence. So this person's behavior may have definitely... Uh, affected your confidence in some some type of way and I feel like at one person uh, at one specific moment you both had like a very good compatibility together you had like a deep connection strong commitment towards one another however someone was not being completely honest and I feel like once that dishonesty got displayed and it got illuminated you kind of like felt almost ashamed is what I feel. I don't know if this is true or not, but I get this energy of uh, feeling a little bit low at confidence, stressed. Let's see, this is starting off quite interesting. We're going to go a little bit deeper to find out what happened here. Like I'm almost getting the sense that someone robbed you from your confidence. Someone said something that robbed you from your confidence. So please let me know in the comments below if some, anything like that happened or someone got insulted here. What is going on with your person? The two of wands reversed. The four of swords. The Death card and the Two of Cups, both in reverse. So, yeah, I do sense that this person um, made some type of decision that didn't really pan out in the right way. I feel like that's why the Seven of Swords is there. And now this person is taking a break. Now they're thinking about their decisions and the consequences of their decisions. And also realizing that they didn't do... Um, the right thing in order to keep the harmony and balance within this relationship right we are we also have like the emperor here at the bottom of the deck in the reverse saying that this person did not take responsibility of something so really weird i don't know what this is why why we have this seven of swords starting off with what is the current energy please the tower reversed. Current energy for Scorpio. Two of Cups. The Three of Wands reversed. And the Eight of Cups. I mean, I feel like you really do love this person. You had like a very deep connection. However, you're trying to avoid getting into a disaster. I feel like you've You've been illuminated something about this individual that really got you off, off guard. That's what it is. The seven of wands as well. Like you, it, it caught you off guard. Um, I, I, but I still see such a strong love. But everything around it is just so chaotic. And it's filled with deceit. 
um, and you feeling the need to emotionally withdraw and walk away because you feel like there is not going to be much more coming out of it. So even though I see a very strong pull towards one another and that is indescribable or that is yeah indescribable I feel like you're not putting in everything you could just to fix this and all of it starts with the seven of swords it's like you saw something deceptive and now it's kind of like your whole world is upside down but still there are still a lot of lovey feelings so it's it's, I feel like you, you, you are going through a lot of mixed emotions and mixed feelings. Like one part of you wants to stay in it and the other part of you wants to fix it. And, and another part of you wants to walk away because you feel like you're not going to get emotionally fulfilled after whatever this is that got exposed here. The moon sees secrets. Oh my God. Secrets. Deceptive energy. What else about this moon, please? King of Wands reverse. So this could be definitely someone that was a player that didn't keep their promises. They kind of like avoided doing the right thing here. Definitely not acted out of, you know, being noble. Um, the King of Wands reverse is definitely someone that could try to get attention, can get very angry, uh, passive aggressive. All right, so... And now they're kind of like closing themselves off with the four of swords, trying to make you cha make, like make you chase them. The sun reverse. You could be dealing with a Leo in particular, and the justice reverse. I mean, it's obvious this person definitely had something. Like they did something that got exposed and they're doing their best to kind of like hide this part of them. But whatever it is that they've done, it wasn't fair to you. It wasn't balanced. It was unethical. It was an injustice. And they probably judged too quickly, too harshly, uh, became too judgmental. But definitely with that justice also in the reverse with that moon, I don't know, you have all your rights to kind of like try to escape this situation for the moment because the way that they got at it was not okay. What is your blockage? What is the blockage for Scorpio, please? The Queen of Cups reversed. The Knight of Wands, the Page of Wands reversed. So these are a lot of court cards. So there could have been a lot of people involved. And I feel like for you, this person maybe even blocked you emotionally, whereas you couldn't really speak up from a more emotional space. So maybe they didn't really listen or they didn't really reply on anything. So you feel like this person is blocking you emotionally. And it's kind of like trying to trigger you um, within your jealousy or doing a lot of mind games to get you triggered and jealous. And it feels very inconsistent. Okay. Uh, you also feel like this person only comes to you whenever they want something. Knight of Wands is kind of like the passionate knight. So maybe you feel like this person keeps on trying to get something from you while you're not really interested in giving that. And then we have also the page of wands reverse. So you may feel like your person is being very sarcastic. Uh, their way of communicating could be very childish and it's not really going anywhere. It's like very reckless conversations between the both of you that is that are emotionally disturbing to you as well. So for whomever this is, there is absolutely something going on beneath the surface here that's been bottling up. And I feel like you've been very stressed about it. And for some reason, you're trying to maybe avoid 
Like you don't want to really talk about it with this person. Maybe you're, you're like every time you see them, you're just kind of like putting sand over it and then it happens again and again. And it's like spirit is trying to urge you like, okay, you have to have like a real talk about it or a decent face to face. Maybe this is only happening over, um, over the, over phone and it's not happening uh, face to face. Like whenever you're together, everything is fine. But whenever you're apart, there's a lot of uh, conflict and struggle. So yeah, I just feel like some type of disturbing energy here that we're just going to figure out along the way now in this reading. But let's see, what is the blockage for your person? There we go. The two of pentacles, not being consistent, not having the priorities on check, going back and forth, not really being direct. Also what I'm getting, like this is someone that is not speaking in a direct way. So they use other things, they use other situations to make some type of point clear. Um, maybe being sarcastic about other people or whatever. And it, they give like some type of hint to you, but they're not like straight forward. And that is, that is a little bit unfair as well. Eight of Pentacles, they may be very busy at work or um, putting a lot of focus on some type of craft. The Strength card in the reverse, they do have a lot of weaknesses that they still are working on. And perhaps these are also the things that they don't want you to see because they have definitely opened up a window for you to see these weaknesses. And they are aware that they have a lot of weaknesses. So that could be anything, but it's definitely showing me that this person is not as bold and courageous as you think they are. They're actually kind of like a scared, not, not scared, but they don't have a, a lot of confidence here. They're being driven by fear and insecurity. And that's their weakness. And I do see a lot of bottled up emotions within this individual as well all right let's see what your intentions are for scorpio and in the extended i will dive into the outside influence for both of you and both your feelings and the outcome so if you feel resonated to this reading you may want to check out the link in the description box okay So your intentions, eight of wands, so you want to speak up. Like I said, you want things to move forward. You want clarity on things. Um, and I feel like there is going to be a lot of communication. Maybe you're going to be the one that's going to be communicating your thoughts and your feelings. You've got the two of pentacles reversed with the sun, uh, no, upright with the sun reversed. So you're not quite sure What is going to happen here? Judgment. Okay, so you're not quite sure what you need to do about this situation. You're still in doubt. Uh, you feel quite unhappy and unsettled about this situation. And I do feel like there is going to be or like, there is going to be some type of clarity coming through, some type of rejuvenation. Both of you are going to be able to talk about something from the past and come to a better uh, clarity in regards to this situation and I feel like this conversation is definitely going to be enlightening you and allowing you to make some type of a decision towards the future a more grounded decision however I'm not really sure what that is going to be for some of you that could be like you know what okay this is it uh, I'm going my separate way for others of you this could definitely talk about retrying in this relationship a rebirth of love but you know still be a little bit cautious because the judgment is facing the two source reverse so i feel like you're still going to be a little bit clueless or uh, unsure of your next step even though you're going to get some answers all right communication is coming in you are going to give someone a piece of your mind as well Let's see what their intentions are going to be, Scorpio. 
Wow. This is some crazy reading, Scorpio. Like, seriously. Look at this. Four of Cups reversed. The Hangman. Okay. The Tower and the Four of Pentacles reversed. So, these are their intentions. <laughs> like, I feel like this person is a little bit stuck in their old own ways like they have like this narrow-minded um, mindset and they are able to kind of like break certain relationships off just because they don't want to change their mind and this is something that they need to start working on they need to change this behavior it's not a healthy behavior to you know break relationships off just because there is a miscommunication or you both don't like the same thing it's like that type of energy it's like oh you don't like this person or you don't like this well then i'm gone like bye um so it's a very stuck narrow-minded mindset that keeps on making them lose rather than win so they keep on kind of like dwelling themselves into situations that don't have a long time to live and it's like very destructive energy all right self-destructive energy but i don't know i'm getting a weird vibe from this like if someone does not agree with them they're ready to kind of like slaughter it and then be over with it like they can't accept someone else's opinion whomever this is, because their ego is too big, okay, the king of wands and the sun, like the pride and the ego is way too big. Your commitment is being tested and believe in the impossible. So it, it just feels like you have been committed, right? Like the lovers and the two of cups, like you've been committed to this individual. Maybe this person is falsely accusing you for cheating or for being um like deceiving them and it may not have been the case and they just believe in their own ways and if people are trying to defend themselves they get all mad up and they they kind of like leave they make chaos out of the situation very possessive energy. I do see the twin flame and communication. So, you know, you both may definitely be twin flames. But this person does not know how to communicate their feelings in a more balanced way or in a more grounded way. They need to be able to ground their arguments and they can't. Like there is a lack of that. Uh, we've got playfulness, time for fun. Maybe this person was blocking you from having fun, seeing that Knight of Wands there. Knight of Wands is a very fun energy, uh, playful energy, and it's in your blockage, so maybe this person was blocking that. We've got union, soulmate, love. I mean, I like, oh, oh my God. You know that we've been talking about this for, I don't know, two months now, that you're getting a soulmate union, and this is another confirmation. So maybe this is someone new or, I mean, you have the lovers and the two of cups there as well. And it doesn't make sense with the whole scenario, right? But it keeps on coming up for you. We are all connected. The ups, uprising. Let's see one more. You know what? I'm just going to pull one of those. I wonder if it's the same person or maybe Spirit is saying that you have another union coming in. Free will. This person may have been trying to attack your free will. Uh, everyone has their own free will to do and be what they want to be and nobody needs to tell them what to do. So there is definitely some type of inviolating of someone's free will that has been taking place here. The path moving forward for you 
Scorpio, uh, it's, it's going to get clear which direction you need to go. There is positive transformation and news coming towards you with the stork that is going to be illum illuminating your next path. There is a new path opening up for you. Yeah, this, this path has been closed for now for the time being. It was a secret. It was unknown. The, the book has been closed, but it's about to be opened. I'm also getting don't judge a book by its cover. So maybe there is a new soulmate coming and spirit is saying like, don't judge it's the book by its cover. Also, when it comes to the fox, all right, they may be, it could be going both ways, right? Because the fox is all about secrecy and deceit. So maybe this person looked all glamorous or very attractive and handsome but they are a trickster so don't uh, don't get fooled by by the cover of the book and the same is the same also for this other soulmate that might be the right person for you but you're you're judging them as they are the snake but they are not or they are sneaky but they're not if you get my point <laughs> okay if, if anyone is still here yeah snake sneaky so someone is trying to sneak on you is what i'm uh, seeing here someone is not being open and honest and i feel like this is going to come out this is this is just, this is something positive for you that's going to come out let me see one more conclusions are also within reach i feel like You will soon understand who is who and who is coming into your life to teach you a lesson and who is the snake and who is someone that brings positivity in your life. Complacency. This person is going to miss you. They're going to miss this opportunity. They, they are going to regret this. All you have to do is have faith in yourself and don't allow anyone to tell you what to do always use your free will that is yours you decide what you want to do and um, with whom or whatever okay so it's all your free will don't try to um, don't allow other people to manipulate you into something else okay that's my message for you scorpio i hope that this message resonated if it did the link for the extended will be an extended uh, in the link below so i catch you guys there ciao